right, ready to get underway. Now it's the shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. Geraldo Perdomo. And that skips in the dirt. Ball. And a good Outside. eye there. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's Thank seat you, with mate. a 3-1 count. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. Now it's Chase Peterson. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Here's Cattell Marte. Fouls one off. Two and two. The pitch. Ground ball left side could be two. Slings to second, and that's two. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's a big power throw. Tim Wood. The line to kick the pitch. Drilled to right. Way back there. And that is gone. They must be going crazy in the dugout. His second of the year, and the Braves have the lead now. It's 1-0. Michael Harris will hit next. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That's down. One hops off the wall. And that's a double. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. And Singy, they're dealing with a former MVP in this spot. And he deals. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That's down. One hops off the wall. The run comes in to score from second. It's 2 nothing. He was all over that one. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, man. He wasn't fooled at all. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. Acuna stands at second with no outs. That's Next pitch is outside. This one in the air. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look Not really either. good coming in. Well, That's so hard. Too soon at strike two. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. Sharp grounder. That's through for base hit. Around third. The throw in. He scores. Oh, and lead hey. by three. Comes through with the RBI. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way. And it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. Matt Olson up to the plate. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. First inning, and already up to 23 pitches. That one, 95 to finish him off. Man at first, Ozzy Albies. Next up for the Braves. Two outs. Outside. There are lots of pitches thrown in this first inning, and it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. Righty delivers. 
Hammered down the right side, but foul. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Ready? And a swing and a miss, and that's that. New inning getting started. Now here's the cleanup hitter for Arizona, Corbin Carroll. The pitch. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And there's one away. Here's Guriel. The left fielder. We talk so much about how starting pitchers Guriel. prepare for their starts. I talked with Max Fried, and one of the things he told me back in 19, he and Lucas Giolito started using MLB The Show to go over scouting reports. All these makes the catch, and there's two down. That is Randall Gritchick now. The center fielder. Randall. Two out spaces empty. Max said he's not sure who actually started at first, but it was 2019, and he and Giolito, who were teammates together in high school in Los Angeles, they had the idea to become more familiar with the opposing lineup using MLB The Show. Swings and misses at the breaking ball in the dirt. That completes the strikeout inning over. And welcome back Leading to the ballpark. The Here's players. Orlando Arcia. That's your club. Orlando Arcia. The wind of the pitch. On the ground to the left. Suarez. Tosses to first. And quickly one away in the Batting second. The so here's Murphy now. Murphy. Ripped base hit. So now back to the top of the order. Everything came together for him. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over. Three. Absolutely Good. smoked that ball. Good. Now here's the switch hitting power threat, Tim Wood. And the pitch. Come on. On the ground a second, might be two. There's one. And it's a yeah. double play to end the inning. Back here in Atlanta, all set for the start of the inning. And now it's Christian Walker. Walker. Swings through that one out in front that time. Yeah, that's outside, and it's three, three and two. Ground ball, Austin Riley. Tosses across the first. One up, one down. A Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. Swing and a miss, and he got him to One chase. Ball. So far, all we've seen in this at bat are fastballs. Look for him to slow it down right here ahead in the count. The Braves leading by three. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Backed ball. off the plate okay. that time. Ground ball up the middle, Arcia. Fires to first on the run. Two up, two down. So digging in, Gabriel Moreno. This kick picked up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real high ceiling. And another ball. And a foul ball. The lefty fires. This one in the air, center field. 
Wood gets under it and makes the grab. And that'll do it. Back here with my pal Singy as we go to the last of the third. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Michael Harris. Next pitch in for a strike. And a count one and two. Ball is back out here for the third. And after the first couple of innings, pretty rough. I think the skipper's looking for him to give him a little bit of length. See if he can save the bullpen. So. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Well, in their win last game, this guy came up with two home runs. Obviously trying to keep the roll going here in this one. That one back up the middle and it gets through. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Now, that's now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. Acuna runs. Liner caught it second. Applies the tag, and they get two. Double play. As we go to the top of the fourth, here's the Diamondbacks leadoff hitter, Geraldo Perdomo. Kicks and fires. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And now the lefty. Got him swinging. Pulled the string on the changeup. Now it's the DH, Jace Peterson. One down, base is empty. In the air, right field. He's there. He's got it. Two down. Cattell Marte up to the plate. Two down, nobody on. Bounced up the middle. Finds its way through, base hit. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Two outs, runner at first. And now Corbin Carroll. Two outs. Fights it off. He'll see another. Comes a 2-2. Boots it. No throw. That's an error, and everyone is safe. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage yeah, counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Success, but the string of a changeup. Back at Truist Park, bottom floor, now at the plate, Austin Riley. Right hander kicks deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Carroll moves towards it. Puts it away for the out. Here's Matt Olson. He's hitting for that pop. Matt. Came out of the gates really strong. Olsen. And one. that's outside. Oh. 
late on that fastball. I think he was sitting off speed there. That one not close, and the count's full. Swing and bless one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. Well, that ball's hit pretty hard and sure had home run distance, but if you're the pitcher out there on the mound, you execute it. Just a long strike, you go after him and finish him off. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Moreno calls it in, two away. Two out, space is empty. Here's the second baseman, Ozzie Olbees. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And that one fouled off. And the righty deals. That's now, great. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. And we're back. And here's the first baseman, Christian Walker. Christian Walker. 1-1 one, one now. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Well, he just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Takes it himself. Ow. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. And Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. Kicks and deals. Ground ball, Austin Riley. Olsen takes it to the back. Nice job to recover from the offline throw. Next to hit for Arizona, Gabriel Moreno. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a grounder foul for space side. Well, this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Ripped on the ground a second. Over to first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Bottom of the inning. Now in for the Braves. Orlando Arcia. Wind in the pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. The pitch. A long base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Now that it. Here's Sean Murphy. Murphy. The one-one and a foul ball on the mound. He had a little trouble back in the first, but it's been a different story the rest of the way. Really settled into this outing nicely. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Richard hustles it back in. Runner stops at second, and the first two reach to start the inning. Now that so the batting field. order turns over, yeah. and now Tim yeah. Wood and the right-hander deals. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Next pitch way upstairs. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense well behind him. And now, Michael Harris. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. Next offering is down low. And that drops in for a strike. Two and two. 
Boils a two strike pitch and he'll see another. In the air right field pretty well struck. Barrel reaches back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get no, back right to the track right, right away. Field. Turned his back Brother, on the infield. Field. Got to the spot. Field. Turned around and made a nice catch. Two on, two outs. You say you win. One ball. Two straight. On the ground. They get the force, and that is the inning. And welcome back to the ballpark. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Here's the Diamondbacks leadoff hitter, Geraldo Perdomo. Up and in, two and one. In the air, center field. Grabs it on the run. And there's one down. Next is the designated hitter, Jace Peterson. One down, base is empty. Oh. And another ball. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3-1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck. Right field. That's bad. Going gone. A solo shot. His first homer of the year. It's 3-1. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. Part of the order coming through now. And with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. In the air, right side. And that one gets down. Fair ball. So a man aboard now with one away. That was maybe the even right a little field. off the Seven. plate, but no problem Four getting there. New pitcher Four. for the Braves, You're Justin Martinez. Now, well, I got to think he probably has a little extra in the tank three. facing his former team. And there's not a player in the league that doesn't get a little extra motivation when he plays against his old squad. Man at first with one gone. This is Corbin Carroll. Left-hand hitter waits. Close one doesn't get the call. Three and one. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. With the tying run at the plate, here in the second game of the series. Swing and a miss. Cast it right by him. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. Two outs. Ball inside. There's the swing and a miss. Good thing. Hard grounder into the outfield for a nod. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. And now it's going to be Randall Gritchick. With the go-ahead run at the plate, and we're in the top half of the sixth. And fouled off. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Ground ball left side. Arcia. Slings it across. They limit the damage here. Back down for the bottom of the six. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Ryan Thompson. Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game.
Here comes Aaron Judge. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Righty to the plate. Goes down looking. Now batting. Third Here's game. Austin Riley. Austin. Riley. Ball to strike. Foul ball there. Through it, and that's a strikeout. Now batting. First base. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's Matt Olson's oh, turn to hit. Two down, nobody on. Swing on, belted. That's back there. And that one's gone. Matt Olson goes deep. His fourth home run of the season. And they add a run. It's 4-1. Ozzy Albies up to the plate. Oh, and another ball. The count two and one. And that one finds its way through. And that keeps the inning going. The batter, number five. Good and next for Atlanta, Orlando, Orlando Arcia. Arcia. The one one. No. Albies off of first with two away. Hey. That one's in there, and the count's even at two. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for them to stay down around the knees to be effective. Outside. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Big stack center field. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Well, patience and discipline now paid off right Hitler. there as he got into an advantage oh. count. Rather than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there are a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So oh. that definitely felt good. Next to hit, Sean Murphy. Well, he's just given up three straight hits and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. Swings through that one for strike two. He's been great in this one. Eye-hand coordination just failed him a little bit right there. Two on, two outs. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. And a swing and a miss. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage.
Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Aaron Bummer. This is his third time out this Your year. Attention, please. Now pitching for the Braves, number 39, Aaron Bummer. And now the first baseman, Christian Walker. The first baseman. The Diamondbacks in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Still two and two after the foul ball. Bummer deals. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. That one almost got him. Three ball. Straightened him up He's a straight. little bit. This one popped up. Arcia makes the play. And there's one down. Eugenio Suarez stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Here's a 1-1. That one is absolutely belted. Dives and makes the catch. Now back, Pepper, Gabriel, Moreno. Two outs, base is empty. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Gabriel Moreno. The D-backs trailing by three. Here in the top half of inning number seven. And they'll do it again. One and two now. And that one in the air center field. Wood makes the grab. And that is that. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Joe Mantiply. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Now the leadoff spot for the Braves, Tim Wood. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give him one more thing for that pitcher to think about. And the pitch. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Hard on the ground to first. He'll do it himself. Yep, he's out. One up, one down. Here's the left fielder, Michael Harris. Let's go Let's go Let's go Let's go the pitch. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on the right line. You know, here's, it takes so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field. And it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. Here comes a pitch. He goes down looking. And at first, here is Aaron Judge. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Now snap throw to first. No, he's and he in ties there. back in safely. Two outs. Bye. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. You're Welcome back. And a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Aram Ace. Number he has 14. a great slider with eight, tons eight. of movement. Here's the Diamondbacks leadoff hitter, Geraldo Perdomo. Perdomo. 
You've got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. That one fouled off. Two and two. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. Two-two. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. And now the DH, Jace Peterson. One out, base is empty. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. That one missed. It's a good take. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. One down, base is empty. And down strikes. And there's two down. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Cattel Marte. Marte. The pitch. And that one wrapped foul. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead, because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Albies over the first in time. And Arizona is set down one, two, three. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Paul Seawall. He's making his fourth appearance of the season. Paul Seawall. Here's the third baseman, Austin Riley. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the ball. Do what he loves to do. And he deals. Lobber to right field, way back, gone! He'll circle the bases, his second of the year, it's 5-1. And now Matt Olsen up to hit. He swings and fouls one off. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. The one-two. Gets a piece and stays alive. And a pitch. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. The pitch. their lead. It's 6-1. Here is Ozzie Albies up to him. Oh. And another ball. Oh. Fouls one off. Two and two. Righty delivers. On the ground, right side. The throw to first. And Albies is retired. Miguel Castro taking over on the mound. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. And the batter will be the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. Two runs across in the inning. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. On the ground to third. Fires over to first. And there are two down. Now it's the Atlanta catcher, Sean Murphy. Murphy. Ground ball to the right side. Walker steps on the bag. Inning over on the ground out. Took just two pitches to finish the frame out of the bullpen.
We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Craig Kimbrell. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he You're should come in throwing please. strikes, attacking these hitters. Three. Number 32, Craig Kimbrell. And now the right fielder, Corbin Carroll. The right fielder, number seven, Corbin Carroll. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Swings here and blasts one left field. Harris ranges back. Gone. He jacks that one out to left. It's 6-2. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Right-handed reliever. Yes. That one is triple digits. One run across to the frame so far here at the top of the ninth. Ripped to short. Tosses to yes. first. Ow. Now one gone in the ninth. Now up next for Arizona, yeah, yeah. Randall Gritchick. Randall Richard. One down, base is empty. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Olsen drifts towards it, and it's caught for the out. Christian Walker stands in now for the Diamondbacks. The first baseman, Christian Walker. Two down, nobody on. And there's a strike. Uh, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more pitchers that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. Smoked on the ground a second. On the first, ball game. And the Braves take the first two games of this series. These hitters have a long ball working for them today. Four home runs have a lot to do with them coming out on top. And your final, 6-2. to two. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Sh